10 Tips for Traveler How are facing fibromyalgia. If you've lived long enough with fibromyalgia, you already understand your body just loves routine. And it's about traveling shaking stuff up. But you shouldn't have fibromyalgia locked away at home. It is feasible to travel with this unpredictable situation, but if you are ready, thoughtful, and can schedule it is extremely helpful. Here are some tips to make sure your travel plans go smoothly. Be challenging about journey times. This isn't always an alternative, but if you can choose the perfect travel times, you'll know you're starting your journey off at the best conditions for your fibro at least. Nothing casts off our whole well-being as a complete sleep timetable. It's just not worth saving $100 on a flight that leaves the dawn crack if it means causing serious exhaustion for the days ahead. Also make sure you have plenty of time between connecting flights, so you don't run from one side of the airport to the other desperately. Prepare for stress at the airport. Once upon a moment, it was a great treat to travel by air. Air travel can be a real nightmare these days. One flight cancelled can transform one day of travel into hours of waiting and hoping. It doesn't mix well with stress and fibromyalgia. Consider asking your doctor for an anti-anxiety medication or downloading multiple meditation applications on your phone to avoid flares, severe exhaustion while traveling. When using a wheelchair, plan ahead. When making your flight reservation, you can select this option or call the airport in advance to ensure that a wheelchair is readily available upon arrival. If you bring your own motorized wheelchair, airports usually ask you to arrive one hour early. You can also ask to be picked up on one of the small courtesy shuttles driving passengers inside the airport to their gates. Call U.S. Department of Transportation hotline for any questions about disability needs at an airport. Pack your own tools for self-care. You don't want to spend your entire journey in pain without the usual self-care instruments and equipment. Wrist wraps, your favorite handheld muscle massager, acetaminophen, or aspirin, an ice pack for the freezer in your hotel room, your favorite sleeping pillow to avoid pain in your throat, your favorite topical pain lotions, your heating pad, your sleep aid whatever instruments you prefer, take them with you. And don't miss the warm tub of the hotel if they have one it's a unique treat for traveling with fibromyalgia. Before you go, refill your medicines. If your usual dose of muscle relaxants on a nice day is 15 mg, when you are traveling, you should plan to need your highest permitted dose. More stress, more walking, being away from your routine, and sleeping in a bed that is not your own can cause more pain. Make sure you have plenty of medicines that assist you with as little pain as possible to get through every day. And be sure to pack these medicines in your carry on so that they are not lost in the chaos of baggage claims at the airport. Pack hot clothes for the aircraft. Nothing ruins a flight of 5 hours like squeezing every muscle in your whole body because you're cold. Airports and aircraft are just two of the locations that may be too cool on your journey. Pack gloves and a scarf to prevent cramping, additional socks, and a sweatshirt from your fingers and neck. Shivering in a wretchedly cold region for hours is a guaranteed trigger for further pain. Ask the hotel in your room for a tiny refrigerator. There is no guarantee that your hotel room will have a fridge. If you depend strongly on ice packs to handle your pain, the additional call is worth making sure it's there when you arrive. Explain that this is component of your medical care if the hotel is unwilling. If they don't give it, ask if you can maintain a tiny bag in the employee refrigerator that can be easily accessed by any employees on your behalf. Bring your most comfortable shoes. Remember that wearing heels to work and sitting all day at your desk is distinct from standing in heels and walking all day around a gigantic conference center. Airports also involve a lot of walking and standing. Your feet's happiness will have an enormous effect on your capacity to enjoy your whole journey. Bring practical shoes that you understand will make your feet comfortable while busy day. Planning your downtime. If you're going to work at a meeting and your boss expects you to socialize and schmooze for hours on end, make sure you clarify that you need enough quiet downtime every day to avoid a flare-up from triggering. If you go with friends somewhere fun, it can be difficult to talk up and say, guys, 
I really need to sit down and relax for a couple of hours, but hopefully they will be understanding. You may even need to schedule a whole relaxing day. Don't worry about getting the rest you need. Plan a recovery day after returning home. No matter how enjoyable the journey has been or how miraculously smooth your flight home has been, anticipate that you will need some extra time to recover and regroup before you return to your ordinary timetable. If it means asking your boss if you can arrive at noon late the next day, hire a babysitter to help with the kids for a couple of hours, or order takeout for a couple of nights, it's worth it to avoid flare UPS. Stay health eyes. Thank you for watching this. Please do not forget to subscribe, share and like our channel. Click the bell icon for latest update.